I'm here at Southampton University where they're using motion capture technology to analyse piano playing. So, what is the new technology that the researchers at Southampton have come up with? What I invented was a method of capturing hand and wrist um, movements. So we put a series of reflective markers on the specific positions on the wrist, hand, fingers and thumb and then ask people to do particular activities and we can measure very accurately to less than a degree um, the, the movements of the wrist, hand, fingers and thumb. The measurements rely on a system known as Hawk which uses a range of complex algorithms to determine the relationship between the pianist's hands and the piano keys. So HAWK, which stands for Hand and Wrist Kinematics, um, measures hand function, full stop. So we thought it's a, it, it can be used to measure all, all aspects of hand function. We came across the, David or Norris, and we, he was a pianist, and we thought we can apply it to this, this application. Um, it's been fascinating to be able to see how, it, how effective it is actually in capturing piano movement and to be able to see the versatility of Hawk in a very creative way. But what is the overall aim of the research? Ultimately, we want to be in a position where we can relate the movement of the hand to the sound that comes out of the piano. It could also be used to teach students. But at the teaching level, I can say to the students that we have here in Southampton that uh, look at what you're doing and look at what Ivo Pogorelic does and can you make your hand move like that? It's a sort of detail you can't even get, actually, from a lesson. So we have 26 3mm markers on specific points of each hand. So there's 26 markers on each hand at specific points. These um, are then captured um, by cameras as placed around the laboratory that you can see behind me. Um, the, the infrared cameras, so they pick up the light emitted from the, the position sensors on the hand. Um, at least two cameras have to be able to see a marker to be able to recreate that marker in three-dimensional space. These are then thread through the Vicon system, um, which this system is, and it's the, the, we then get a stick figure, essentially, representation of David's hands. We then take that data and pass it through the Hawk model, and from that we can generate very accurately the angles and accelerations of the wrist hand and thumb. So we can quantify David's playing style. That's, that's the, the beauty of this. So when David plays, he plays very elegantly, very fluidly. But we can quantify the, the position of the wrist and the relationship with the, the more distal joints. So how the wrist affects the finger joint movements and the thumb movement. And we can quantify different techniques. And particularly with David, this can be applied to his teaching of students. So. In, in various creative endeavours, people can have various techniques, various idiosyncrasies that they apply, and we can quantify those for, for future students. And what about those pianists who suffer from injury? Is there any chance we can tell them how their injury has come about? If, if anybody comes into the laboratory and is, is assessed by the Hawke method, we can look at how their um, impairment, for want of a better word, is affecting their piano playing. Um, we can also look at people over a series of time, so we can create a longitudinal assessment of how their recovery, if perhaps they've broken a bone in their hand, if their recovery improves their play, or if they have something like repetitive strain injury, how that affects their playing.